Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this menu over here. So it has a light box effect and the text also has an effect. So I've created this with the, the, um, the light box widget that you can find in your widget library. So this is the file and I'm going to show you how to create it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this background exactly the same as here. Okay, and I'm going to open the widget library and I'm going to bring out the light box display widget. So what we're going to do here is first thing is we're going to delete the elements that we don't need. So we're just going to leave one trigger and we're going to delete, for example, the sidebars here, the text over here. I'm just going to leave one trigger so you can actually delete it and just leave this. So you just have one trigger, you have the container, you have, you have the target and you have the close button. So next thing is we're going to move the trigger over here because this is where we want the menu to be and I'm going to pin it here and I'm going to move the light box. You can leave it actually the size of you want because the light box will you know, it will, it will fool your, your home screen, I mean, you'll fool your screen, and the container is just, will be as big as the content inside it, all right? So I'm going to add some color now. Now, first, I'm going to start adding here the, the, the icon. So I'm going to use a font awesome icon, which is this one over here. So I'm going to copy it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the strokes and also leave it transparent. So make sure in every single state is like this. So in normal, let's do the same. And in the other states, we'll do the same thing. Okay, so make sure now it's in normal because this will only have one state. And I'm going to add a text frame inside here and I'm going to paste the icon. I'm going to bring it up to, let's say, 30 and say this is font awesome. And I'm going to change the color. And align it to the right. Let's see how it looks. Can actually make it a little bit bigger. Okay, menu's done. So I'm going to use this same color here for the light box. So the black rectangle is the light box color. So I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to make the target transparent too. So I'm going to leave this like, like that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add text frames. And let's say it's home and I'm going to choose a web font and bring up the size till 40 and choose a white color. So you can add as many menu elements as pages as you have. You can also add external links because what you have to do is just add the hyperlink here so you can link it somewhere else. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste, I'm going to make sure, okay, let's change. And now click on rollover. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some tracking here. So I'm gonna bring it up to 
40. This will depend on the web font that you're using. So it's just a little bit bigger. Let's gonna let's make it the text frame a bit bigger too. And let's leave it to 30. No, bring it down to 25. You'll have to make the adjustments depending on depending on the web font. Okay, and let's do the same with contact. Okay, so the other thing you you mustn't forget is you also have to add the transition the transition here in normal, click on fade and roll over, it will be also fade. So remember to do this with, with every single element. So let's preview this and see how it looks. Okay, so when we roll over, we get this effect. So this means we have to fix home. If that happens, the only thing that you have to do is you have to make the text frame a bit bigger. So let's see if it's fixed. Yes, exactly. Pretty cool effect, huh? And now we're going to click, I mean, we're going to fix the, the own close button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this transparent. So make sure in the rest of the states it's transparent too. And what I'm going to do is, this is a font, so I'm just going to choose the same font as I'm using now. And I'm just going to bring up the size. That's the only thing that I'm going to do. Okay. So let's preview this now. We get the nice effect, and whenever you want to close, just click on the X. If you don't like it here, you can actually move it. See? So to... Now what we have to do is just, you just have to link it hyperlink it. So you can add your link here in hyperlinks. I'm going to preview it and see if it works. Yes, so I just click on home and it will redirect to responsivemuse.com. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you like my tutorial.